hey guys welcome to my channel so this is another important video and another concept which is how you can send email uh, to any client or any of your customers in django uh, in real time so let's go to django product uh, projects of the youtube this is the folder that i have created to make projects for your youtube content so i'm uh, opening this git bash here also you can use uh, this shift and click on this open partial window okay you can use this PowerShell window if you like, but I'm not going to use this, but because I like Git Bash, so I'm opening this. And here, as you can see, I'm in the web development framework and Django project YouTube directory. Here, you will uh, create a new project, which is Django dash admin start project. Project name should be like email center. Okay. Okay, our email center. Let's uh, open this with our vs code editor as you can see this is our main project okay and let's first create an app so now to go to new terminal here in the email sender project file i'm going to create an app which is python manage.py start app and its name should be suppose send email okay Okay, this is the email center is our project name and send email is our app name we need to import that app in the settings file so we need to go to the inside of send email app and go to apps.py and just copy this name okay our main app name is send email so go to the main project setting and go to install apps okay you need to write send email dot apps dot send email config so send mail is our main app name dot apps dot send email config okay so email config while we get it from the apps dot py file as you can see this one so before we go before we write something in the setting we need to do something let me create uh, an url dot py file in the app so new file urls dot py file so for now i'm keeping it at empty blank because we will come here later okay so first we need to go to the email center in the settings we need to write something for email configuration this is the configuration thing that we need to add from any django project if we want to send email to write email host okay so email host is smtp dot gmail dot com okay this is our host smtp.gmail.com this is our host then we have email underscore port this is our port number which is 587 then we need to write our email host name who is going to send the email email host user and email host user is my uh, this gmail account so let's write it and then we need to write a sensitive information which is email host password email host password and it this password is very sensitive okay very sensitive information when you want to uh, give this password is the is the gmail uh, this gmail accounts password so it should be hidden but when i'm going to upload the video I will make it blur so that you can don't understand it what I'm writing because it is very sensitive information and then we need to write email use TLS okay which is true and email use SSL you need to just modify it for your own in your own project that which one works for you okay so in my case the TLS works perfectly if you if you keep tls is equals to true it works for me when you select then ssl is equals to false and tls is equals to true it works for me but in case you you have you might have different configuration when you give all the information there you just need to go to the your app which is sent mail and go to views.py in the views.py file in the application you need to create your own function so let's go to the django documentation and search for email okay say so go to send email 
and here you have a code uh, module or packages that you need to import from django.code.mail let me show you in bigger format you need to write from django.code.mail import send mail this is the function that you need to import so if you write this function you can add your subject your body messages of your email your subject of your email and uh, all the body thing and you the sender this is the sender email that you will send email from and this is the list as you can see this is a list it is a list of uh, users that you want to send email from your um, website that you want it can be your client it can be your customers anything and you write fail silently is equals to false it shows that if you fail to send error uh, say if you if you suppose if you are if you fail to uh, send the email and this will trigger some error functionality so that you can understand that your email didn't send properly you can do this okay. django dot core dot mail import send mail functionality okay you have to write def send email okay it will take a request and you need to just write send mail this is the this is the main function that you import from django core dot mail and here as you can see you have the option to write subject in the parameter the message that what message you want to parse then from email from which person you are sending the email and the recipient list this should be a list of a string okay that you want to send email to so let's let me write it properly first is the subject and then we have the messenger body then we have sender email and then we have the list of email that we want to send mail to okay you can add multiple like this that list of you list of gmail as you can see uh, you can add multiple gmail account like you can copy this and send whichever user you like you can do this for many users okay but i'm just sending it for one user only which is fine and fail silently is equals to false so that we can get what kind of error we get when the send functionality doesn't work okay then we need to return something return render function which will take a request and an html page okay when this if a send email function works we're gonna return something so we may send email uh, app and just create a new folder called templates and in the templates we're going to create uh, a new folder it name should be send email okay the name same as this app name and just uh, in the new file you just create send mail dot html okay okay let's write send mail as title and here in the h1 tag you will write email is sent successfully okay when you send the email uh, properly then you will redirect us to that send email file and go to send email dot html okay we will pass the context to that page send email is the word this uh, folder and then we go to the send email which is send email .html page if you want to pass any context you can do this okay but in that case i don't need anything to pass okay so our main functionality is done now we need to just copy this uh, function function name which is send email and go to us.py file and here we'll write from django dot urls import path we have to write url patterns we will give it a path in the root directory we will import the views from dot import views the views we have a views we have some function which name is send email function 
and this function is that function send email function it will re, it, it will uh, occur the views dot send email function when we go to the root directory and give it any name which is send email okay it's perfect and then we need to give this link of this apps uls.py file link to the main project uls.py file let me delete all of this just copy this thing again and we need to include that app which for that we need to go to the django urls import path and include and here in the root directory i will include that app that app name is let me uh, get the settings.py our main application name is email uh, send email okay send email is our app name we need to go uh, go that app it is our app name and in urls.py file we need to just paste it send email dot urls so we are uh, saying this that in the root directory you will go to send email app and go to its own urls.py file so we linked it properly just save the file Okay, so make sure it is a root directory and in the ul.py of the app, it is also root directory. So let me check it if it is working or not. For we need to restart our server, which is python minus dot uh, py run server. I want to send something subject like hello deep message. Hey, how are you man this is from django website i'll send that email to that uh, that email or the gmail that we want to send it will we'll see all the result in that email because i'm sending it from this email okay so send email slash send email dot html does not exist so what's the problem okay say it should be send mail send mail so this file name should be same as this file name send mail dot html let me refresh it okay email sent is successful so as you can see uh, it is from great adip 82 as you can see subject hello adip and the message is how are you and this is from jang website as you can see the gmail is sent from this account my another account and the message is message hey how are you man this is from Django website this is perfectly done and as you can see it is perfectly done if you write it like in a variable like subject is equals to this thing let me copy this thing and paste here and let me paste it subject as a variable let me copy this whole body and write it main message we want to send it here and let's delete it and write message as a variable then i want to write the sender sender is this working working okay the email is sent properly and this is the subject subject hello from adip and message how are you man this is from jang website so it's it works so perfectly and nicely but make sure uh you make sure that you don't have two-factor authentication like i'm writing it here no two-factor no two-factor auth is allowed if you're uh, allowed if your mail or gmail account have two-factor authentication enabled that it will not work make sure it is disabled okay make sure your two-factor authentication is disabled otherwise it will not work and another thing is important which is go to my accounts dot google dot com slash less secure apps just go to that directory just um, copy this thing first go to the my account dot google dot com slash less secure apps so copy that link okay and just copying that link and pasting it here 
and as you can see uh, it is enabled allow less secure apps is turned on if it if you keep it as off okay it will be more secure but your email sending functionality will not work but if you keep it as on okay it will work make sure that you turn that on and your two-factor authentication is turned off in these two condition it will work so make sure that okay so this is the main thing that you want to learn okay so that that's all for it guys that is the main email functionality how you send email in django so thanks for watching i will come up with the next video with a lot of amazing content till then subscribe to my channel and keep staying with me